Hey guys, you are welcome to Lumi Crypto. I'm Don Nelson. I'll be walking you through how you can easily buy and sell on Binance. Please subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell to always get notified anytime I upload a video like this. Stay with me while I walk you through. It's very simple and easy. Just pay close attention to me and you'll get everything correctly. All right, once you log into Binance, this is the very first home page you meet. You navigate to the trade session. I always use the advanced session because with the advanced session, I have the opportunity to have uh, my technical indicators during technical analysis. Any interface you are using is fine. Just the operations are exactly the same, be it in the basic session, be it in the classic session, or be it in the advanced session, which we are now. Now you can see the interface. You can see the charts where my moist pointer is moving. This is the chart to read the market, but we will not be focusing on that for, for this video. Today, we will be looking at how you can easily buy and sell on Binance. This is the other book. The ones in red are the selling orders and the ones in green are the buying orders. Now we have a limit uh, buy and we have markets when you want to buy. Now let's begin with the market. The market section, what happens here is once you use this market section, you are telling Binance that you are, you are going to buy with the actual price that the asset is trading on. Right now, one Bitcoin is around $18,429. So if I should buy one Bitcoin, if I should buy one Bitcoin now, you can see I've just typed in one. If I should buy one Bitcoin now, automatically Binance is going to execute this order using the current market price, which I don't always do because I love it that I have my opportunity and chance to uh, bid and buy with a price I prefer unless on special occasions where you are in a rush or you have target to meet you, you need to quickly buy. With that being said, let's move over to the limit section. You select the limit section. Now, this limit section gives you the opportunity to select or bid on the price you want or you expect to buy. Assuming I have finished doing my technical analysis and I believe one Bitcoin is going to fall or depreciate to $17,000, what I'm going to do is right here where you can see the price, I will type in the amount I want which is $17,000. Then I'll select the quantity of Bitcoin I want to buy, which is one. Now you can see the market price is at 18,438, but I'm bidding to buy 17,000 because I have seen, or after my technical analysis, I'm very sure that Bitcoin will fall to $17,000, maybe after some days or some weeks. And once I click this buy Bitcoin, automatically my order will be placed, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't execute immediately because the market price at the moment is higher than my bidding. But if I want to buy with, within the next few seconds, what I can do is I can place this on 18,400 or let's just say 18,400 because I want to buy within seconds. I'm believing the, the Bitcoin price is going to fall to 18,400. So I'll just put in my order and in no distant time from now, it get executed. But don't forget, if I'm trying to buy so quickly, I can easily use the market section 
to buy with the market price. But since I'm trying to bid with my own price, I don't need to buy with what the market is giving me. I need to decide what to buy. Then I'm going to select my own price. I'm going to put in my own price. Now let's move over to the sell section. Let me use a coin I already have, for instance. I don't have Bitcoin now. Now let's select Zek. I have uh, Zcash at the moment. Okay. Now let's move over to the sales section. Once I come to the sales section, sales section is different, is exactly with the buy section. The only difference there is you are buying when you are in the buy section and you are selling when you are in the sell section. So one Bitcoin, uh, one, uh, one Zcash at this moment is uh, 4,349 Satoshi. So I don't want to sell 4,349 Satoshi. Let's see, let's assume I want to make more gain. I might put my price, I want to sell at 7,000 Satoshi. Then the quantity of Zek I want to sell, let's assume I want to sell one, one Zcash. Then you can see is already indicating how much I'm going to get in Bitcoin if I should sell this right now. So I will place my sell order. Now my sell order has placed. If you come down here, you will see my sell order here. You can see why the sell order is not yet executed is because the price I'm bidding to sell is higher than the current market price. And as such, my order will keep waiting till I hit this target, till this coin increase to 7,000 Satoshi. And once again to 7,000 Satoshi, it will get executed. So, but if I was trying to sell off immediately, I could just put, I could just take up the market price and sell off. But for this uh, tutorial, I don't want to sell my Zcash because I believe Zcash will still rise in future after it's having on December. I'm believing that Zcash will hit up to $200 per one. So that is when I will be selling my Bitcoin Cash, my Zcash. So you can see how simple it is. How you can easily place your order, buy and sell. It's not confusing once you pay close attention to it. Now let's go to the peer-to-peer -peer session. In case if you just want to buy your Bitcoin or your stable coin without using the exchange. If you come to the trade session, you go down to peer to peer. Okay. Good. This is the peer to peer section. Currently on Binance, the only coins you can trade as peer to peer is USDT. You can see it here. USDT, BTC, BUSD, BNB, ETH, ETH, and EOS. These are the only coin you can buy in peer-to-peer -peer for now in Binance. We hope that more will be added as time goes on. Now, my primary currency for this PNP is our Nigerian Naira because I'm a Nigerian and I'm using Nigerian accounts. So this peer-to-peer -peer section of Binance is direct escrow where you easily buy from individuals who are selling. You can see we have different persons here. Let's assume I want to buy from this guy. He's selling 491.59 Naira per one USDT. Let me use Bitcoin for instance. I have to put in Bitcoin if I, I'm trying to buy Bitcoin. But if I'm trying to buy USDT, which is a stable coin, I use, I select USDT, okay? 
Now you can see this person is selling nine million thirty thousand per one Bitcoin. So let's assume I want to buy from him. I click on buy. Pay close attention. You can see I want to buy here. You can see from two thousand naira to sixty thousand two hundred and forty-two naira seventy-four kobo. This is the amount. The minimum amount I can buy from this person is two thousand naira, and the maximum amount I can buy from him is sixty thousand two hundred and forty-two naira seventy-four kobo. This is being calculated based on the Bitcoin he has on his wallet, and he's ready to sell. So let's assume I put in. Fifty thousand. I want to buy Bitcoin. What of fifty thousand naira? Good. It's going to indicate the value of Bitcoin I'm going to be getting. And if I click on buy, okay, it's loading. Good. Now. I've clicked on buy. You can see that's giving me a window. This person now, I'm going to be doing bank transfer. Like I told you, this session is for peer to peer, where you get to buy from direct individuals. I've seen the account number, I've seen the bank name. I can easily, from my mobile banking app, make a payment to this account. And after making a payment to this account, I will come down and click transfer and next. And you are given 15 seconds, 15 minutes for each of these peer-to-peer -peer trades to complete the payment, which if you fail to complete within 15 minutes, it will get canceled. So right now I'm not buying for the cost of this tutorial. I'll be, cost, I'll be canceling this order. Binance will always want to confirm from you to ensure that you've not made payments and trying to confirm. So I'm confirming that I have not paid the seller. I'll just confirm and cancel the order. Okay. You can see payments method couldn't be displayed for this order. Order canceled. So right now I have canceled the order entirely so guys this is this is how you can easily buy and sell on binance